Life um, over the past three months has been totally upended and that began to take everything that I thought about suffering and put it into practice. We have this paper thin facade that life is controllable, attainable, manufactured and as soon as anything in life, it can be a drop of water will rip through tissue paper and you recognize like I built my life on all these structures that I thought were going to carry me through everything that's been knocked down completely. Like this is what the author of Hebrews says, everything will be shaken until that which cannot be shaken remains. And the only antidote to a life of suffering in my mind, the only thing that must be more real, what gets you out of suffering is love. But I think the most true statements about suffering in life come from stories. So I think we have these clues left for us by poets and artists who write about the deep experiences of pain and suffering and light at the end of the tunnel. We have a little bit of those seeds even in scripture from prophets who talk about a liberation from death. And then the way that Jesus embodies it when he comes, he doesn't just come as like this answer to suffering like we answer a test. He comes by becoming a man of sorrows. He comes by just persevering and enduring and being with us as we go through life. And I think that's the only answer anyone ever wants. I don't need, I really don't need to know why it happened and I'll never know. And even on the other side, I, I have this view that I don't think we get the secrets of the universe unlocked when we get to the other side. I think we see the beauty of God and say, yeah, this is okay.